Yo, what's good? Driving right now, just got done eating. So if you see a little something stuck in my teeth, my braces, you know what I'm saying? Bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Your boy still do need a cut. So like I said, bear with your boy getting a cut this Thursday. Anyway, fuck all that. Let's talk about the Dennis Schroeder situation, bro. Um, This is a, this is, so if you don't know, and I don't like talking about men's money and shit and people's money and finances because that's not, you know what I'm saying, what you should do type shit. But I think that this is a, a very valuable lesson for all of us. And that lesson is, so backstory for anyone who doesn't know, Dennis Schroeder uh, played for the Lakers. During the season, he had a, I think they offered him $84 million. Uh, it's like 84, 86 million. I think it was $84 million for a contract extension and of course i'm thinking he's gonna take it he doesn't take it he says no he doesn't want it he wanted more right and now after you know he plays in the playoffs and different things like that he doesn't do too well now the lakers don't want to give him that much money and lakers undrafted a hell of people and shit the damn dream team you know what i'm saying basically and you know what i'm saying they only want to offer him i think five million and he wants nine mil a year so this man went from being offered being offered 84 million dollars to play for four years in la as a laker living in la california to damn near finna get drafted by the uh, not drafted damn near finna get traded to the damn celtics who the hell want to play him i'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with boston but damn i'd rather live in California to live in fucking Boston so this man went from being in the game making 20 something million dollars a year living in and playing in LA playing for one of the greatest franchises in the history of basketball and he didn't and now he's not going to be able to get what he wanted and he may end up getting traded to a, a shittier organization because he was selfish not selfish, he was being greedy. He was being greedy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that a lot of us can take a lot from this shit. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of us can learn from this shit. You know, when God blesses you, take your blessing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who, if anyone's watching this, man, but if you got a a business, I, if you got like a, a business and you got somebody offering you a certain amount of money or you got a job offering or I don't know what it is in your life that you can take this situation and apply to your life. Maybe you got a, a good girl in your life who's amazing and you out here still trying to be, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Playboy type shit. You're not taking the blessing that God has given you is amazing woman in your life. I mean, you okay, you keep playing. She gonna, she gonna be gone and she nigga and you gonna be sad. And maybe you're a woman and you got a man in your life and he's amazing. He's a great dude, but you, you seen all these instant, but maybe he not, he not making the money that the, all the other dudes you see on Instagram is making. And he can't buy you a motherfucking Lamborghini truck and he can't, you know what I'm saying? Do what you see all these other girls getting and shit, but he's an amazing dude. You know what I'm saying? He got, he got goals. He got a, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's, like I said, a job offer. Maybe it's. It could be anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what it is. You know what it is that you're you're taking advantage of. You know what it is that the opportunity you have and you're not taking full advantage of that opportunity. You know the things that God has blessed you with that you're not, um, you're not using, you know what I'm saying? Or you're not taking your blessing because you think there's something better around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So I think we all can use this and say, yo, and, and, you know, don't play ourselves. Don't play yourself. Be very thankful. You know what I'm saying? Be very thankful for what you're what you're being offered. First of all, thank God for what you have and what he's giving you and accept it. Take it. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. Maybe you're not ready for that thing you necessarily want right now. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take 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 that shit. You know what I'm saying? Grab the blessing grab it because what he did is unfortunately i rock with him i, I follow uh i subscribe to him on uh on youtube i rock with him heavy you know what i'm saying him and his family is dope but this is just a you know what i'm saying a prime example man you gotta 
you gotta take your blessings, man, whenever you get them. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes a great offer is being in, is in front of you, and you may pass it up. It could be anything. A great offer it could be in front of you, and you're passing it up because you think, oh man, if if they're gonna give me, if I'm gonna get this, then shit, maybe I can get something better around. You thinking about what's around the corner instead of taking your blessing. For instance, I remember my sister, she was looking for a car. And I remember telling her, I was like, yo, my sister was looking for a car. And I remember telling her like, yo, when you go to, when you see these cars, like don't, cause we was with some other people. And I was like, yo, don't listen to them. They gonna try to tell you to wait. They gonna try to tell you to wait on a, on, the, on a certain car to get. I'm like, when we get there, they gonna try to like talk you out of getting the car. They gonna try to talk you out of. They gonna they gonna say, man, let's just wait and, and see if there's more cars. Some of the people we was with, I was like, nah. If you see a car, you need to grab. It. That's your blessing, cause God God knew she was going to the. Uh, you know what I'm saying to the to the dealer. So we get there, she sees a car, and I'm like, yo, per perfect price, amazing car, and it, what happened? The people we was with, they was like, yo, nah, you should wait. You should wait until they have more cars. I'm like, nah, fuck that. Do not wait. This is the opportunity. This is this is the car. Like, you ask God for a car. This is the perfect car. Stop waiting and thinking, oh, well, maybe he'll have something better. Nah, this is the one he has. And then he, she ends up getting the car. Fast forward, those same people was like, man, that's a nice car, man. Good thing she ain't listen to us. See what I'm saying? If she would've listened to them, they don't even know what the fuck they talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like months later they saying man good thing she ain't listen you see what i'm saying some of y'all is, is listening to people you should not be listening to you know what i'm saying some of y'all is listening to people who is who is uh who is sleepwalking you know what i'm saying you can't take direction from people who are sleepwalking if you have a goal if you have a dream you can't ask people and get get advice from people who don't have goals and who don't have dreams that's dumb as hell just like if you married you should not take fucking marriage advice from your single friends, men and women. I wish somebody would come to me for marriage advice. I'm not fucking married. Don't ask me, nigga, I have no clue. You know what I'm saying? Don't take relationship advice from one of your friends who can't stay in a relationship. Why are you taking relationship advice for a, a, a man who can't keep a, who can't seem to keep his house in order or a woman who can't keep a man? It don't make sense. Why, why would you do that? It, it, you cannot take advice from people who are sleepwalking. We know what sleepwalking is. Sleepwalking is people who are just going about life with no direction, no purpose, no dreams, no vision, no goals. They're just sleepwalking. Every day you they wake up and they have they, they don't have anything planned for the day. They don't have any goals. That's sleepwalking. You can't be someone with goals, someone who's awake, and you're taking cues from someone who is sleepwalking. That doesn't make any sense. That's like a five-star chef taking fucking seasoning tips from a fucking person who's in culinary school still. Come on, man. Like, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Stop taking advice from people who, who you know what I'm saying, who, who are sleepwalking, basically, and who you know damn well you shouldn't be taking advice from. I mean, if you have a lot of friends who, who, aren't, don't, who aren't on shit, I'm not saying get rid of them, but I'm saying, like, maybe you should just stop asking them for advice and stop telling them like your goals because you can't tell someone who's sleepwalking big dreams and goals because they're not going to be able to see it. They're not they can't they can't even see the vision in their own life. How the fuck are they going to see the vision in your life? You know what I'm saying? They they can't they don't even know. They can't even see their tomorrow. Right? They can't even see their tomorrow. How the fuck are they going to see your 20 years? You know what I'm saying? How are they going to see your 5-year plan? And they don't even have a, a fucking one week plan. They don't even know what the fuck they doing next week type shit. They don't, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I think this is a, I think this whole thing is a big, uh, big thing we can all learn from. You know what I'm saying? Stop listening to people who are sleepwalking, you know, take your blessings, take the things that God has given you, take your offers you know what I'm saying? Because just because you got this offer does not mean there's a better one around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes this is the best offer that's coming. 
as of right now, this is the blessing. This is the big blessing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take it so that you can uh, you can elevate. So yeah, man, that's that's what I wanted to say today with this video. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully somebody gets some type of uh, some type of uh, motivation, inspiration from it on the way to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on my goals. I'm still grinding. You know what I'm saying? On the way to work. Uh, and then, you know what I'm saying? I do shit on the side, obviously. I'm trying to quit the 9 to 5 life. I ain't trying to do this forever. But, yeah. Appreciate y'all.